dream, a myth, and now a scientific frontier. But what if I told you that in our lifetime, we might witness the end of aging as we know it? This is the story of the race for immortality, a journey through science, ethics, and the potential future of humanity. Over centuries, humans have fought against aging and death. From alchemists brewing elixirs of life to modern medicine extending life expectancy, the dream of living forever has persisted. Today, that dream feels closer than ever. With advancements in genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, bioprinting, and mind uploading technologies, immortality is no longer just the stuff of legend. It's a real possibility, one that's attracting some of the brightest minds and the largest investments in history. In 2023, researchers achieved a groundbreaking milestone that shocked the scientific community. A team in California successfully reversed aging in mice using cellular reprogramming. By activating specific genes, they restored old cells to a youthful state, effectively turning back the biological clock. The implications of this discovery were staggering. If it could work on mice, why not humans? This breakthrough marked a turning point in our understanding of aging and opened the door to what once seemed impossible. But what exactly causes aging? At its core, aging is a result of cellular processes. Each time our cells divide, the protective caps at the ends of our chromosomes, called telomeres, shorten. Over time, these caps become too short to protect the DNA. Leading to cellular damage and the aging process we experience, scientists have been exploring ways to lengthen these telomeres, effectively resetting cells to a more youthful state. Early experiments have shown promise, with some researchers successfully extending lifespans in animal models. Could humans be next? The answer might lie just a few years ahead. Beyond cellular aging, there are other challenges. Organ failure, memory loss, and the frailty of the human body are all significant barriers to achieving immortality. Enter the field of bioprinting. Imagine a world where a failing organ is no longer a death sentence. Instead, doctors could use a 3D printer to create a new liver, heart, or lung using a patient's own cells. This isn't science fiction. Companies like Organovo are already leading the charge, with functional bioprinted tissues being used in research and early stage trials. The potential for this technology to revolutionize medicine is immense. But what if our bodies could become completely replaceable? In recent years, the field of bionics has advanced rapidly. Prosthetic limbs that respond to brain signals are now commonplace, but researchers are pushing further. Full body prosthetics capable of housing a human brain are on the horizon. This could mean a future where a damaged body is no longer an end to life, simply a hurdle that can be overcome with technology. The concept of becoming a cyborg is no longer confined to the realms of science fiction. It's becoming a tangible reality. However, perhaps the most radical approach to immortality doesn't involve preserving our bodies at all. The concept of mind uploading or transferring human consciousness to a digital format has captivated futurists for decades. This idea involves scanning and copying the human brain, creating a digital version that could exist indefinitely in a virtual space. Theoretically, this could allow people to escape the limitations of the physical world entirely. Companies like Neuralink, spearheaded by Elon Musk, are already developing brain-computer interfaces that could one day make this possible. Yet, this idea raises profound philosophical questions. If you upload your brain, is that still you? Or is it merely a copy, a digital clone that mimics your thoughts and memories? 
If the original version of you dies, does the digital version truly count as immortality? These are questions that humanity must grapple with as we approach this frontier. The quest for eternal life is not just a scientific challenge, it's an existential one. As exciting as these advancements are, the race for immortality also comes with ethical and societal implications. If we develop the ability to live forever, who will have access to this technology? Will it be a privilege reserved for the wealthy, creating an even greater divide between the rich and the poor? The potential for inequality is staggering. In a world where only the elite can afford to escape death, the gap between the haves and the have-nots could grow into an unbridgeable chasm. Furthermore, there's the issue of overpopulation. If humans no longer die at the same rate, how will we manage the strain on our planet's resources? Earth is already grappling with challenges like climate change, food shortages, and dwindling natural resources. Extending human lifespans could exacerbate these problems, forcing humanity to make difficult choices about population control and sustainability. Religious and cultural perspectives also play a significant role in this debate. For many, the idea of immortality challenges deeply held beliefs about the nature of life and death. Religious groups argue that attempting to conquer death defies the natural order, while others view it as the ultimate expression of human ingenuity. The moral and spiritual implications of living forever are as complex as the science itself. Despite these challenges, the pursuit of immortality continues to attract immense interest and investment. Tech giants like Google, through their Calico project, are dedicating billions of dollars to research aimed at understanding and combating aging. Other organizations are exploring more unconventional approaches, such as cryonics. The practice of freezing bodies or brains after death with the hope of reviving them when technology has advanced enough. One of the most fascinating aspects of this race is how it's reshaping our understanding of what it means to be human. If we can overcome death, do we lose something fundamental about the human experience? Would a life without the fear of death lack urgency and meaning? These are questions that philosophers, ethicists, and scientists are wrestling with as we move closer to making immortality a reality. At the same time, there is hope that the quest for eternal life could bring unprecedented benefits. The technologies being developed to extend human lifespans have the potential to revolutionize healthcare for everyone. Treatments that slow or reverse aging could help people live healthier lives well into old age, reducing the burden of age-related diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Bioprinting and regenerative medicine could make organ transplants more accessible and save countless lives. Even if true immortality remains out of reach, these advancements could dramatically improve the quality of life for billions of people. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the race for immortality is redefining the boundaries of science, ethics, and human ambition. It's a story of hope and fear, of innovation and controversy. It's a journey that challenges us to confront our deepest desires and our greatest fears. The dream of living forever is as old as humanity itself. But for the first time in history, it feels within our grasp. Whether we achieve it in the next few decades or the next century, one thing is certain. The pursuit of immortality will shape the future of our species in ways we can only begin to imagine. So, the question remains. If given the chance to live forever, would you take it?